Black Box TV presents The 10 Most Haunted Places in the United States. Number 5. The Horton Grand Hotel. An historic hotel in San Diego, the Horton Grand was opened in 1887 after the opening of the Transcontinental Railroad in 1885. In the 1980s, the hotel was relocated and renovated, and after its completion in 1986, the managers noticed something was off. Guests staying in room 309 claimed the bed shook Lights flickered on and off, and on occasion, the room was deadbolted from the inside, despite being unoccupied. It was discovered later by the manager that it was the ghost of Roger Whittaker, a gambler who had been killed in the hotel back in the 1800s, while hiding from creditors in the room's armoire. Number 4. The Myrtles Plantation. The Myrtles Plantation is an antebellum plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana, that is rumored to be on top of a Tunica Indian burial ground. A former slave, Chloe, was hung for murdering her master's two young girls. Her ghost, along with those of other former slaves, appear occasionally to ask if there are any chores they can do. The grand piano has been heard playing by itself repeating the same haunting chord. Today, the Myrtles Plantation exists as a bed and breakfast, and guests have often experienced supernatural phenomena. Number three, Waverly Hills Sanatorium. The Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Kentucky was opened in 1910 to accommodate increased numbers of tuberculosis patients. The swamplands throughout Kentucky proved to be the perfect breeding ground for the tuberculosis bacteria. The discovery of antibiotics led to the hospital's closure in 1962, but the brutal treatments have left a powerful supernatural scar. Room 502 is the hotspot of activity, where people have seen ghostly apparitions of nurses moving in the window and heard voices screaming to get out. Number 2. Velisca Axe Murder House. In early June 1912, an unknown assailant murdered eight people with an axe in Velisca, Iowa. The Moore family home was the site of these gruesome deaths and is haunted by their spirits. There are numerous reports of floating orbs, children playing, whispers, and banging sounds. The second floor has a particularly evil energy to it. One minister attempting to purify the house was scratched and bruised by an unseen force. Number one, the Amityville House. An iconic part of American legend, the Amityville House is one of the most well-documented sites for paranormal activity. In 1974, Ronald DeFeo Jr. shot every member of his family as they slept. Thirteen months later, when George and Kathy Lutz moved in, they began experiencing disturbing events. The house was plagued with flies, regardless of the season or weather. Perhaps most disturbingly, the Lutz's five-year-old daughter, Missy, developed an imaginary friend named Jody, a pig-like creature with glowing red eyes. One night, when Kathy closed the window in Missy's room, she saw a pair of red eyes staring angrily back at her. Thank you.